What's up, y'all? So uh, today we're going to be talking about a subject that you know a lot of you have asked me about. You say, hey, Lloyd, what do I say when I walk up to a girl? Hey, Lloyd, what are some topics of conversation about what I can say to a girl? Well, for all of you guys who have asked me this question, I'm going to do you one better. I'm actually going to give you my favorite topics to talk about with a girl, whether you've just met her or maybe you've been talking for a little bit. These are the go-to things that I usually go for. Now, I have tons of videos where I talk about what to say and questions to ask, um, but basically, this is going to be kind of a, a brief summary of what's going to be covered in this uh, thing that I'm coming out with called the approaching system. Okay, so there's going to be a longer answer in there. We're going to actually give you like verbatim questions that you can ask, more questions, uh, things to talk about things that are going to be useful for you because really what a conversation is is it should it should satisfy three things um, number one it should be fun number two you should get to know the other person and number three you should figure out whether it makes sense for you two to continue a relationship you know do you guys connect on certain things do you guys click um, do you guys make a you know are you guys having fun with each other like you should be able to figure that out by the end of the conversation so my list of questions is going to give you all that and more so let's get right into it Okay, so the first one is going to be location. That is where she's from, that is where she's currently living in, that's maybe where she's visiting, I don't know. It's a location-based question. You know, typically this is something like, hey, where are you from? Are you from the city? Those things like that. I usually like to start with these questions if I've just met this person because you don't really know where they're from or what they like to do, but you do know that they are from somewhere and you can start with that right off the bat. And you can, if you've lived there, you can talk about that. If you haven't lived there, you can ask her about it. There's tons of things that you can do with starting from a location. Okay, now that you asked for a location, <laughs> now that you asked for a location, <laughs> um, now that you've talked about that subject, um, you, I like to move into something that's like, um, something about their hobbies. I like to learn what their interests are. I like to learn what they like to do. So, yeah, I'll talk to them about that, you know, some fun stuff that they like to do. Hey, what, what were you up to this week? What are some hobbies that you have? What are some things that you'd like to do for fun? That's probably my favorite question around that. And, yeah, just figure out what she's got going for her, you know, and tell her about some of your hobbies, too. Those are the things that I like to talk about. You know, I have a lot of things that I like to do for fun, and I like talking about them, and I like seeing if other people like to do those fun things as well. And if they don't, I'm curious to learn more about what they like to do. You know, I, I, I talk to a... A girl recently who really likes spearfishing. You know, I've never spearfished before, but I'm so curious to learn more about that. Uh, and so it was a very, uh, very intriguing conversation for us. Okay, uh, so talk about your hobbies. <clears throat> the next thing that I like to do a little bit too is I like to, and this is going to be misinterpreted, I like to gossip. Okay, now humans, we are adapted for gossip. Why do you think people still continue to look at the news even though it's utter, utter trash half the time? You know, this person's dating this person, you know, Trump said this. Like, it's not gonna make you smarter, but people really enjoy reading it because they, we have an insatiable need for gossip. So if you have some mutual friends with this person, if you have something around there, people love to gossip. Now, don't be saying mean things or nasty things about other people, but people just like to know what's going on with other people. You know, we're very tribal and we like to know what's going on around us and what things are happening because we like to know what's going on in the tribe. Now, tribes don't really exist in the shape that they used to, but we still like to know what's going on with the people that we interact with. And look, if you don't have any mutual friends, another fun thing that you can do is to people watch. Maybe Maybe somebody's wearing a creative or interesting outfit that you can comment on or talk about. Not in a mean way, but in a way where you're just like talking about that person. Maybe somebody walks in with, I don't know, like a, a cowboy hat on and you tell a story about how, oh, I bet he just got off his, uh, you know, pickup truck and just got done rustling some cows or something like that. You can talk about that with them, okay? And it's really fun because it kind of has this like us against the world type mentality um, with the girl that you're talking to. So I enjoy talking about some gossip stuff, okay? Again, don't be mean with this, but it's very, very engaging. And as soon as you start talking about it, watch her eyes light up because a lot of people like talking about mutual friends and, uh, and things that they have going on there. So that's a great topic. Uh, the next thing that I usually like to talk about is something to do with dreams or aspirations, okay? What do they like to do in the future? Or what would they like to do in the future? What are some of their plans, their goals? Uh, what are some things that really, really drive them for the future? I, I love talking about this subject. This, in fact, this is probably my favorite subject to talk about. Now, I saved it for last because it's probably the most difficult subject to have with a girl. In fact, if you've 
started talking about this and you're having a good conversation around it, you're probably going to be pretty connected to this person. So not every person, when you first start talking to them, is going to be willing to talk about this. I mean, if you just started talking to a woman that you've maybe met, you know, at the park or, or whatever it is, or if it's a first date, she might not be willing to talk about that with you just yet. Okay. But if you've been talking for a while, if you've built up a lot of rapport with this person, maybe there's something there, you have some shared interests already, then absolutely, you know, this is a great topic of conversation to talk about because what you want to know about a person usually is where they are right now and where they're heading to. And if you are heading in the same direction as that person and you're in the same place right now, that is a strong, strong connection to have. And if you've established that during your conversation, you can bet that that person is going to want to interact with you again or have some sort of relationship with you in the future. If it doesn't work out in terms of romantically, at least you guys can be friends. Okay. This is how I pick, you know, my guy friends too, if I'm, if I'm going to hang out with them. But most of all, if I connect with somebody on this romantically, like a girl that I'm really attracted to, then you can bet we're going to be seeing each other in the future. It's a really great topic of a conversation and one that I could do for hours with people. You know, this might be like, Hey, what are some of your, what, where would you like to travel to? You know, what are some dreams and aspirations that you have? Where do you, where do you see yourself in five years? Again, not the first question you should be asking. And in fact, if they, if you've been talking to this person for a while and they're not willing to have that conversation with you, they don't want to talk about their goals. You know, they, Oh, that's private. Or, you know, I'm not really, they don't really have like a good answer. They haven't really thought about it, or they're not even trying to talk about that stuff with you. Well, then maybe that person might not be the best match for you. So, uh, you might want to talk to somebody who does have some goals or dreams or is looking towards the future in the same way that you are, because that'll probably be a better match for you. You know, short term, whatever, but uh, longer term, I'd say that's probably more important. Okay, cool. Well, guys, like I said, we're going to have a longer answer for this in the practical approaching system. I just thought I'd give you some tidbits here and there. I mean, you can use this with any girl that you want, whether you've met them, you know, for a date or whether you just started talking to them at a coffee shop, it doesn't really matter. Um, these are the things that I like to use, but in the comment section below, what do you guys uh, like to talk about? And if you're interested in getting the approaching system, um, get notified about it please, the link in the description box below, click on that and you'll get notified. Again, we cover a whole span of things that you can talk about, actual questions that you can ask, like over real conversations that I've had with people and infield footage for you guys as well too. So uh, look forward to seeing you on there. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there. Thank you.